Hello and welcome back to some more Snooker 19 and part 36 of Season 4 of our Ronnie O'Sullivan career mode and 298 episodes into the series. We have uh, the second uh, mini session against John Higgins in the final of the China Championship. Now I am actually using a different uh, recorded method for this video so it's a little bit of a trial just to see how it goes to see if I can save a bit of time um, doing it through OBS interestingly enough uh, with the Elgato plugged into that if you're interested but anyway last episode didn't go so well 3-1 behind uh, John and uh, we really weren't at the races so I, I do think we need to to sort of book up our ideas today and, and come out of this session at least 5-3 I think uh, you know that's something that we could come back from but a big first frame of the day here and uh, it's going to be us that uh, get this fifth frame underway so thank you for all the support on the series so far and in particular um, on the last episode make sure you keep hitting that thumbs up button if you are enjoying and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 videos so yeah good little break off uh, I don't think John will be going for this but uh, you know stranger things have happened he's playing the thin one oh, oh no he's well did he play that really nice opening red it's pretty difficult to tell whether he went for that or not well he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket but uh, well if he did it, it was a fabulous shot great queuing there Four. John Higgins, five. So just the safety shot, and just the five points for for John. Now, something that was well off was the pacing on our safety shots, and once again, that's very short of where we wanted it. Where's the cue ball going? In the pocket. Oh, <laughs> apparently not. Not quite in the pocket, but it was pretty close. That pace is critical here. Yeah. So try and combat the uh, slow shots. We hit that a bit harder, and this time we've left John a bit of a attempt out. Yes, he's taking the pot on. He's just dropping it in. Absolutely dead weight. Yeah. What a beauty. He couldn't have played that any better. One. That's an excellent pot. He's right on top of his game at the moment. Eight. Nine. So, three. Loose threads that John can have a go at before he will need to go into the, the cluster. Nice little gap um, with the two bottom most threads. If he can get into that gap, I think they'd open like a treat. Position looks good for a colour. 17. Yeah. It's not bad. I think the red on the pink spot goes to the right corner. He's playing this one, and it's right in the heart of the pocket. Great shot from John Higgins there. Twenty-five. Really well played. Thirty-one. Thirty-six. Well, that's not perfect. So this pot into the right corner. But still knocking them in. What a top shot that is. I still Not wonder whether shot. that red just below the pink will pot into the right corner. 
39. Yep. Yeah. He's put the pink safe. I'll tell you what, now that that pink's moved, that top red will go. He's potted the pink, so mustn't have been that safe. Admittedly, I didn't so really look. This pot into the right corner. That's a good pot. So John, looking like he's going to go four-one up here. Quality queuing there, really good. Forty-seven. Nice little split. Fifty-four. One good pot, and he's won the frame. This is frame ball. That's right in the centre. What a shot! In it goes, and that shuts the door on his opponent in this frame. Fifty-five. And a nice black to. Make sure we don't come back to the table. So very, very impressive here from John. Nicely onto a red. So this all means he can't go into the second session of this match behind. He'll be looking to get six two seven one. Well, John, and uh, it's our job to. To try our best to stop them. No real problem here. Seventy-eight. Eighty-five. This should be straightforward enough. Nicely onto the colour. Well, looking good for the sentry here. Ninety. Just the colours to go. Ninety-two. He's playing for the right corner here. Beautiful. Good green. And ninety-five. Just brown and blue needed. To the right corner. For that sentry. Well, an excellent pot. 99. And there it is. Turn up for John Higgins. Excellent from the Wizard of Wishaw, and he'll be delighted with that 117 clearance because that's given him the frame, and he now has a three frame lead. It's 4 1. Thank you. The sixth frame. John Higgins. So John Higgins breaks off in frame six of this match, and well, I mean, careless in a year and a half of playing this game. I don't think I've ever seen a break off as bad as that. So one John potentially just lost a bit of focus there. Well, couldn't have asked for a Eight. better chance than this to get our hand on the table again and try and He's playing for the right corner here. Get going. Tremendous spot. Great queuing. Nine. This should be pretty straightforward. Well played. Sixteen. Yeah, just dropping these in. Still got 24. at least three more loose reds. Possibly the red on the left hand side isn't too much of an issue. 25. Got a decent angle to go into them here though, so. Let's go for it. And there we go, as long as that red doesn't go into the middle. Oh, well. Foul. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 25. John Higgins, 7. Can you believe it? 1. I mean, admittedly, we didn't look for a plant, and that's Six. a little bit careless. 
But that was an excellent chance for us to win the frame in no time at all. Get it back to 4 2. Well, if it goes 5 1, it's a couple of massive frames at the end of this session. But a long way to go before that. It's all going to be whether John can get 35 in front before the red on the left hand side. and I think easily can do that. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Well, there you go, John, into the lead now. And those seven points are going to help him out as well. And sticking on the black here is is just shaving away the points. He's already thirteen points in front. Let's go twenty in front. It's all a question of if he can get 15 points from these next four reds. So as long as he do, doesn't just take yellows with it. Which you wouldn't expect him to. We'll be fine. Oh, he'll be fine, I should say. Not us. 42. So this is been excellent from John a little bit unlucky for us I suppose to knock the red into the middle but that's what happens okay. when things aren't going your way he might well play the red into the left corner here so this is a big shot if he takes it on because this could be a turning point should he miss this he's aiming to no he's this playing the, the other one what a top the question is kind of is he going to play the red next to the yellow? Well, he is, so. Just this red required. 37 points in front, 43 on the table. Red and colour will virtually secure this frame, bar and snookers. Oh, a miracle of John going in off. But I don't see it happening. In it goes. That's a very solid that shot. Should be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. Fifty-six. So he knocks a green in as well, and if he knocks this red in, we won't come back to the table. Two four points is required to be able to possibly win this frame. He knocks us in. That's all trivial, and there you go. So John Higgins with another 50-plus break. He's going to go 5-1 up, and he's halfway there. Five frames in a row as well. And we didn't really give him a chance in the first frame of this match. and Yeah, we're, we're getting a good hammering from John at the moment. But, you know, hope is, is not lost yet. You know, we can... Hopefully grind this out and and get a decent result from this session. We gotta win at least one of the next two frames. I'd love to win both of them. But uh, you know, six two isn't insurmountable. But uh, we're gonna have to start playing and playing soon. But John Higgins with that excellent clearance of ninety two wins the frame and he extends his lead to five frames to one. And that is the frame. Well played. Thank you, the seventh frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Well, we break off in frame seven. Needed a good break off, and that's exactly what we got. He doesn't want to overhit this. Well, typical uh, AI going insane. I'm happy to make John play a few of those. We need all the help we can get. 
not sure what happened there, but that's a poor shot. Yeah, and some, well, something happened in the latest patch where the AI just his opponent to play again. cannot get out of stinkers now. He's considering the simple escape route here. Simple, just <laughs> just just putting it straight into the into the green pocket. He's been asked to play again. John's taking a few bets for this, I think. He needs to be careful. This is better. He'll be disappointed with that shot, I think. Oh dear. Foul on the miss. It's crazy because they do well, go for a different shot every time. He's probably going to be back to knocking it. Well, he's onto the ball cushion now. This will hit the red, so he has hit it. Unfortunately for him, he's hit it at about 100 miles an hour. So, so possible chance here. This isn't easy though when you're five one down. Yeah, best of 19. But it wobbles in. One. Not quite on the pink, uh, on the on the black as we would have wanted. Can't pop the pink, so it's going to have to be the green or a a safety. Green's a little bit risky, and not guaranteed position. Lots but we're going to go for it. What a shot that is! Because that's our game. And here comes the cue ball. Nice little cannon on the black, please. Yep, that's okay. Four. So. Perfect pace required for this shot. Just drop it in. Dead weight. Five. Uh, it might be worth taking the pink here rather than the, the black because you just want to get rid of, into the middle pocket. rid of that red on the black spot. So I'm going to well, go into these reds. Obviously, the, the pink board. is going to be dislodged. Well, we'll have to take the black this time. Well, can play a little cannon on on the win, or possibly play for that red. Actually, yeah, I think from around here that that is going to be potable. Nineteen. Let's have a little gander. Yeah, you can see clear daylight in between red and black, so it will go. You always kind of know with those things, because the black can't be touching the red when it's spotted. So, 20. Yeah. So, good chance here. Reds are nice and open. Just going to be whether we can hold ourselves together here. He's going for the left corner pocket, and in it goes. Excellent queuing. It's not the best shot in the world. We have got the the pink, but trying to hold for the black there. Believe it or not, this looks pretty simple. Okay, back in prime position now. Thirty-five. O'Sullivan looks rapidly. Wow, we've missed the black off its spot. For his opponent to take advantage. <sighs> Ronnie O'Sullivan. I was just focusing so much on the cannon there. Oh, we forgot the black. Nicely positioned for the blue here. <sighs> so 47 One. points in front. It's not going to be enough the way John's nice playing, play. the way he's queuing, the way he's scoring. Six. 47 points is not going to be enough, but can he get 35 in front before the red above the pink? Probably not, so he's going to need some sort of cannon on that pink and red. Twelve. Thirteen. Aiming for the centre pocket here. Fifteen.
He's got nice position on the blue ball here. 16. Twenty-one. Decent position to take on a colour here. Twenty-two. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Well, this could be the moment he plays the cannon. I think that's a bit of a missed opportunity from mm. John there. He may well play it off the red, but I don't expect him to. So two reds, two blues will put him two points behind, so it's all going to be to play for. Unless he plays the cannon here, but again, I don't see it. You know, just making sure of the position on the red. Big frame this now because we were in first and it was an easy miss it wasn't any un unluckiness Nicely but this blue. is a why well, he's playing the yellow oh. what is he doing has he even snooked himself here That's no not quite star. but 42. well that was a lapse in, in judgment and although he's played a reasonably good safety shot I'll be disappointed. John Higgins, 42. So I think we want to come off one cushion. Pace is key, and he certainly doesn't want to overhit this. Oh, we've sort of passed it. Well, we've left the free ball, which usually would be frame over, but we know that AI just don't take. Well, it was a really hard shot, balls, and it so hasn't worked out for him at all. Need to go a bit closer to the blue. John Higgins, four, three ball. He's around about the, pace the right pace. Shot is absolutely key. And this doesn't seem hard enough. Not really the result he was after. Back we go. Miss. John Higgins, four. Pace is key with this shot. Oh no, that's, that's not hard enough at all. It's the perfect line now, but... Not the best shot, although it was a very testing position he found himself well, in. He thinks we've found the line now, so he's going to try and put us in a tougher snooker. Oh, he doesn't want to hit the brown though. Oh, well, it might have actually helped. Has he got the cover? No, he hasn't. So John plays a poor safety. Not an easy one, but a half chance. And we knock in the long red. Brilliant. He thought, oh, and, and flick this red behind the black, white in behind the yellow, but he completely miss hit it. And uh, well, I'll be wishing he put us back now, because he'd have probably given so him another eight right points corner. or so. Oh wow! Wow. Five. Well, can you believe Johnny we've Oshie, done that? One. John Higgins, five. This is tough. Ah, uh, that's going to be frame over. That's great cue ball control. Excellent position. I cannot believe Two. that the cue ball's gone in. So just so as Brown required, and it's going to be six-one, and that's going to be a huge frame for us to lose. It's not looking good, is it? John Higgins has, uh, has punished us there, and deservedly so. He now leads by six frames to one. So a final frame of the session, final frame of the episode. And we need to win this to have any hope you feel. Because let's be honest, we're not going to win 9 2 at this, uh, in this form. This is tough. Well, that's a good opening red. Cue ball's coming round. And I'm looking at that pack, doesn't look like there's any sort of plans, so. Big chance to go into them. The split looks good to me.
eight. A uh, nice little. He's lining this up into the right middle pocket. Come on. Nine. Looking to play this with a lot of power. Sixteen. You know, just like Ronnie in real life, we know we can reel off three, four frames in no time at all. But it's whether we've got the form and, and and you know, more importantly, the patience to to almost do that in this match. You know, without the the match practice and you know, it's going to be going to be tough. But uh, well, that wasn't wasn't the best shot in the world, was it? So under pressure with this. Can't see any problems here. That's a really good split. Played it okay. It's a real opportunity. Twenty five. That's a nice shot on the black. Thirty two. Thirty-nine. Gently does it. Why is that red going to reach? Just. Yeah, played that well. Good shot. Forty-seven. Nicely onto the colour. A little bit of check side Body just end. to keep us in position. That's our first 50 break of the match. 55. And what's annoying is we've had chances in the last two frames as well. You know, we could have potentially made this. For all, yeah, we might not have made it six-two yet. That's a frustrating shot. So, absolutely, drop this in. He's taking the red on. No. No, not quite. Pretty close though. So that won't provide well, any sixty-three solids. in front. 83 on the table. And not a ball safe. Brilliant. What a magnificent pop. This is classic Higgins territory of steel and frames and just dropped the haven't the quite got the the fluency that we normally have. So big chance for, for Higgins here. To really Five. hammer a nail into the coffin. Seven one is very tough to come back from. You know, it's well. not impossible, but we'd have to play our absolute best to 13. to get back from that and have a little bit of help from John as well. But, you know, let's be real about it. That little cannon is. Uh, it's made every ball on this table potable right now. Some of them easier than others, but at the very least, he can, he can pot everything now. He's going to have to cannon in. Oh no, he's playing safe. Well, I thought that red would go to the left middle, but. John Higgins, 23. A bit of a surprise. John's not cleared up. 
cleared into the red and pink, hoping that it might knock the pink safe. But it's gone completely wrong. Yeah, had that been a thicker contact, reds would have stayed down the table. That would have been a perfectly okay safety. But, well, 39 behind. This is, well, the golden opportunity for 7 1 here. As long as he doesn't run out of position, which you wouldn't necessarily expect him to. 14. Especially now. So. 15. We're going to be 7 1 down going into the next episode, and that is devastating. It really is. Position looks good for a colour. 20. 22. This should be fairly straightforward. I honestly thought the shot we played was dead sir to be safe, but somehow it missed the pink. <laughs> and well unless he misses this long pink. Don't see happening. No. Nope. So just this black required for John so Higgins. Just this for the frame. And there it goes. So John Higgins oh, takes a 7-1 lead. And that and now the frame is his. has left us in complete shell shock, frame. to be honest with you. That's a shocking session. 7-1. Wow, we are going to have to play some fantastic snooker to get back into this. But if you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave the a like uh, down below. It really does help out. means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for uh, regular Snooker 19 videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.